Hi, it's Jason Rushton here. I just wanted to take a few minutes to shoot a quick video, uh, answer some people's questions. Uh, seen a lot of questions out there lately um, on whether certain um, autoresponders allow you to import uh, lists of emails. Uh, this is especially important if you already are with a company or maybe you started your own list with your own uh, maybe autoresponder script or something and you're thinking of uh, maybe upgrading and you don't want to lose that list of subscribers that you already have um, so I just want to quickly show you the two uh, autoresponders that I use currently are uh, get response and uh, GVO responder so in get response I'm just gonna go up to the top here and under contacts if you go to import contacts it's gonna show you uh, you can do it with a list but you what you've got to do here is certify that this list is permission based and meets get responses um, anti-spam policy so they do let you uh, import a list but you have to uh, uh, basically certify that you've already um, they've the people on this list asked to be on the list and all the other rules that go with the uh, anti-spam policy uh, just gonna go back for a quick second show you there's another option here under contacts so you can go add contacts and you can do them on an individual basis so if you just had one person you needed to add um, you could add them and it shows you which day you want to add them into the follow-up sequence and again you have to check that you have permission to add them to your list so that's get response um, I'm gonna quickly jump over to GVO responder okay so in GVO it's uh, very similar to get response you have uh, an option where you can add a subscriber uh, on an individual basis and that's under the subscribers add subscriber um, uh, menu if you go up to the import tab you can do a manual import but it uh, gives you um, all the criteria here of what the list must be you can't have a purchase leads list uh, they have to be your subscribers um, and then down here it also some more so it says warning anyone you import will receive a confirmation email asking them to opt into your newsletter letter to configure your opt-in message click here so basically uh, these people will have to opt in again they'll get a message asking them to just click the link um, you might uh, you know if if you are changing subscriber or um, autoresponder services you'll have to state that that um, if they want to stay on your list they're going to have to click the link uh, and you just choose to file and uh, it's a straight import from there.